Hi there, I'm Kent and welcome to my video series on building an iOS app with c -sharp. In this series we'll build a real-world, genuinely useful application using c -sharp, Xamarin Studio, Reactive Extensions, Reactive UI and a bunch of other useful libraries. We're going to go through the whole process of project setup, design and development using a TDD approach. The app we'll be building is called Workout Watch, that's watch with an O. It was born out of a genuine need. Over the past few years I've had a number of health issues that have required me to perform various exercises. I've found that it's just too onerous doing the exercises if I have to count my sets and reps and just be attentive of timing in general. So I decided to write an app that would make it as easy as possible to do the exercises and to free my mind to think about other things whilst I'm doing them. The goals I have for the application are firstly that it be frictionless. I want it to be as easy as possible for me to do the exercises because that increases my chances of doing them. If the app is annoying or difficult to use, that will result in added friction that might ultimately dissuade me from exercising altogether. Secondly, I want it to be liberating. I want the app to free me of the need to count reps and sets or expend any mental effort on the exercises themselves. That would free up my brain to think about more interesting things. In effect, I would be thwarting boredom by exercising both physically and mentally at the same time. Thirdly, I need the app to be flexible. I need to be able to express a wide variety of exercises accurately and usefully. Fourthly, I need it to be simple to make changes to my exercise programs. Chances are I'll want to tweak timings and other things, or I may want to add a new exercise program altogether. This absolutely cannot require building and deploying the app again. It needs to be data driven. Finally, I want the app to be robust. I want to be able to depend on it working because if it's flaky, I will get exasperated using it. Thus, I intend unit testing most of the surface of the application. This series will be broken up into a number of modules. I may change my mind as we go along, but currently I'm thinking we'll have an introduction, which is this module, a module on architecture, a module on solution and project setup, which will then be followed by a module on each of the layers of our application. Services, models, view models, and the views. Finally, I'll include a quick conclusion module. So hopefully this is of interest to people out there and I look forward to continuing this series. Please check out the GitHub repo for the slides for this module. Catch you next time.